So I wanted to show you guys, this is the apartment, this is the house I'm working on. We put those lights up. This used to have a um, big ugly vanity with a mirror of lights on it. So we just took it off. I painted these cabinets, painted the wall, ceiling. Gotta say it turned out very good. Painted the ceilings. That fan was already there, but painted the closets, two coats. All the walls have two coats. The ceiling, closets. I like this room because it has a lot of closets. So here's my view, you guys. And there's my beautiful car. Hallelujah. Yeah, so this is my view. I'm going to walk you through. I'll just show you the type of work I do. This job was mainly by myself. A couple of days I had a few helpers. My brother came up and helped me for a little while. Here's the hallway. Here's another bedroom. Put those beautiful lights up. This is a agreeable gray. So if you guys want me to come paint your place, I do travel. Another closet. And the other bedroom is exactly like this one. Got a cool light there. I put those lights up. Painted closet. This is all the flooring. Thank God. I don't have to do all this flooring because it's just too much, too much for, you, for me, you guys. So this room, this is a really cool light. Turn. We don't have all the lights in because they're going to buy a table here. Hallway, another light. They're going to do all the flooring. This is like a dining room area. Another light, another cool light. I do top notch work, you guys. I painted all these cabinets. I wasn't gonna paint these cabinets because I was trying to get out of here um, yesterday. I was trying to get out of here this morning about four, four in the morning because I wanna help a friend of mine build a uh, chapel out of her garage. It's gonna be delivered center. So I told her I would come, so I'm going to go there tomorrow morning bright and early. But I painted all these cabinets today. Two coats. Um, Valspar cabinet furniture paint. Really good stuff, you guys. So you can see I really, really pay attention to detail. I mean, I don't get paint on the hinges or nothing when I paint. I painted all these. I put that light in too. My brother came up. My brother lives in Harlan County, Kentucky. Everyone, please pray for him. And then, so this is the second floor. You got upstairs the bedrooms. You got this, and then you got this down here. This is like going to be like a family re, uh, family family room. I didn't paint those cabinets. I didn't have enough time. But it's got a heater there. It's very nice. Got a nice closet. This was a pain in the neck to paint because I had all that wood and I couldn't get no paint on the wood. Normally I can spray closets, but I couldn't spray those. I sprayed these ceilings. I sprayed those ceilings on the second floor too. This is the laundry room. Another cool light. Yeah, this is the work I do. Here's another cool light. <coughs> Excuse me. This is another cool light. They're going to finish this bathroom. I didn't have time to do it. When I did that cabinet, that vanity looks really good. Handrails. 
So yeah, when I'm not commanding demons out of people, I paint apartments or houses and I fix them up. So if you guys want something, you know, done, I will travel. My normal going rate is $200 a day for painting and stuff like that. So that's not bad considering it took me um, seven days to do this job. A couple of days I had help. So seven days, you're talking 1400 bucks. Um, no, six days. So you're talking 1200 bucks. I only did it this cheap because it's my daughter's and I shouldn't have charged them that much, but winter time I don't have much work. So I had to charge something. And uh, I did the cabinets for free for them. Just because uh, I want to help them out, you know. I can't tell you what this house is going to be until it's up and running. Well, I can tell you, but they don't want me, they don't want people to know. It's going to be a rehab center for women. I can tell you that because you don't know where it's at. So I know you're not going to go tell people. It's going to house um, 12 women. In case you guys don't know, both of my daughters, they're counselors. They help get people off of drugs. They've been doing it for a long time. So this is what they're going to be doing. Please pray for their ministry. And uh, pray for my ministry. All right, guys. I'll start making videos again when I get back to Chicago. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to go help my sister in Christ turn her garage into a chapel slash deliverance ministry. She's also a deliverance minister. But yeah, this is what I do, you guys. I paint, 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 paint. It's a beautiful day out today. And there's a creek right back there. Can't see it, but there's a creek right beyond that fence. And of course, my daughter had to get flood insurance for here because um, you can see it right there. Let me zoom in. It's more like a little river. And if it floods, I'm sure it's going to come over onto this property. All right, guys. A lot of you guys wonder what I do when I'm not praying for people deliverance. This is what I do. Beautiful Kentucky. It's this kind of quiet little town. But a lot of people are on drugs here, you guys. They need help. That's why I'm praying that the Lord will open up some kind of ministry where I can uh, start really helping people, you know, like a, maybe even get a church and a deliverance church ministry going. I'm not sure. I just have a love for souls. I want people to get saved. I want people to become born again. And I want people to know the truth, that we're in the end days and we don't have much time. Alright guys, may the grace of Jesus Christ be with you. Keep looking up. We're at the end of the end, my friends.